Uh, greetings and welcome back. Uh, in the last lecture, we really accomplished a lot. We implemented the data architecture, the game of cities and products. So it actually goes and has different prices for different products at different cities. And in doing so, we also created a products panel that separates uh, some of that code in the, in the UI. We have in our product panel, if we look at the 2D thing, as you can see here, we just cre created a product name and a price here. We can, uh, here in our main, in our script, we learned here how to initialize these products on the fly. And so that was here in our create product panels that we actually initialize the product panel and then we add it here as an add child to our product list container that we added to our scene. So that's what lists all of these uh, product panels out when we run the game. And uh, there's quite a bit going on. I definitely would review the the last lecture. If, if you find things confusing, certainly uh, send me a message. But the most important uh, thing to, to remember and what we've done is these product references and the, and the references that we created. We're keeping a reference in the panel to the product and we're keeping in the product a reference to the panel. And we take the time to do that when we initialize our objects and we're creating these objects when the game starts up. We're creating these relationships. This uh, is sometimes known as like injection dependency. These objects, we take everything that they're dependent upon and we inject those dependencies into them when they're initialized. Then that way when we go to any one of these nodes or any one of these products, we know right where we're at. As you can see, when we arrive at the port, we have a lot of flexibility of to what we might want to do here to calculate the price. So, for example, we could have a random number here that would decide for us uh, if the price should change or not. And I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say randomize. So first, we, I've learned that we, you really need to do this randomize and then we'll say we're going to give it like a, a percentage chance that this could uh, the price will change like maybe we can just make it a 50 50 chance so we could say if the rand and so if we just do like a, a rand f it's going to return a, a float and if it's greater than say 0.5 something like that then that means we'll say that we want to update the price and create a new random price. So I could say city product dot, it's calling in the product to calculate the price. So we'll, we'll call in the product to calculate the price. I think we need to do it here too. So in, instead of doing this in the init like this, we break this out. get random price. So we're going to make this really straightforward here. So it's not confusing. So this returns that. So this, uh, oh wait, we want to say price equals. That's right. Yeah, I'm making it more complicated than it needs to be. So so this way we can call get random price and it will automatically set this price and recalculate a new one for us. So we come in here, city product, and say get random price like that. And that's going to set a new price. Let me make sure. Yep, get random price. If, you know, this is greater than, than 50%, basically. So let's run it and see if it works. And if I not found product, uh, it's just product. Eight four, twelve twelve, thirteen three. See, got a new random price. Twelve twelve, eight three, eighteen eight thirteen. So it's it's giving us random prices 
half the time when we go to new cities. So there's some gameplay for you already uh, developing. Uh, simple, but you could have the prices, you know, randomize more frequently or less frequently, however you want to do it. But that's one of the keys uh, to a game like that. And it was also kind of important for you to see how that works. Now, we've kind of got things messed up a little bit in that we, are, we need to call arrive at port at the beginning up here. So when we ready, we get all this stuff done, we can say arrive at port so that it doesn't start out with nothing in here. See, so that's simple enough. Just like that, we have our, our prices and everything and everything ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and end this lecture uh, and keep this one short.